Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Today I would like to give a tutorial about accounting equation and double entry system. As we know that accounting equation assets equals to liabilities plus owners equity. Now we look at the question. Uh, the transaction below occurred for the month of December 2019. So we start uh, so we start at the 1st of December, the owner invested 10,000 cash into the business. So you are required to prepare the accounting equation and open the related accounts. Now we go through to the, to the accounting equation table. 1st of December. The asset increased 10,000 and at the same time, the owner's equity increased 10,000. 5th of December, the business borrowed from bank 2,000 and received check. It means that the company will receive check and it will increase our asset. 2000 and at the same time the liabilities of the business increase 2000 15th of december purchase vehicles rm 2500 and paid by cash in this situation you can find that the keywords are vehicles and cash so we can see that the vehicles will increase 2500 and at the same time our cash decreased 2500 17 of december the owner withdrew cash for his personal use rm200 all right we know that when the owner withdrew it will reduce the keyword here withdrew and cash so we true it will decrease our the, no the owner's equity and at the same time the assets of the company cash will decrease 200 25th of december a business performs services to clients and receive cash rm 1200 at this situation the keywords are services and cash it means that the company will receive cash rm 1200 or in other words the cash increase 1200 and the revenue increase 1200 and the last transaction Paid utilities expenses are M300 with cash. So the keywords are utilities and cash. It means that it will reduce the cash of the company 300 and at the same time it will reduce the owner's equity RM300. So, what should you do is you have to total for cash, bank, vehicles, bank loan, capital, drawings, revenue, and expenses. And the conclusion that you can get the total asset 12,700 equals to liabilities 2,000 and the owner's equity. 10,700. This is the accounting equation. Now, we have to relate to double entry system. What should you do? We have to follow the rules of double entry system or other words, the rules of debit and credit. We have to follow the rules of double entry system. And you can see that when it when asset increase, you must record in the debit side. When asset decrease, you must record in the credit side. 
So you can see that assets, the account for asset X, this is this represent for accounts. Okay. You can see that. Okay, account. Okay, you can see assets, expenses, and drawings when they ink they are increased. They should be recorded in the debit side, and when it decreased, they should be recorded in the credit side. And for liabilities, revenues, and capital, when liabilities increase, you must record in the credit side. Revenues and capital increase, you must record in the credit side. But when it decreases, you must record in the debit side. So you can see the conclusion here. Asset versus liabilities. Asset, you must record debit when it increases. Whereas liabilities, you must record credit when it increases. Now, based on the question given, we have to make a solution or make a summarize from the transaction and we convert into the double entry system and you can see that here account debited cash increase so it means that we have to debit cash 10,000 and at the same time we should credit capital 10,000 this is what we call the rules of double entry system. The transaction 1st of December, it will, it will involve two accounts. There are cash debited and capital credited. And we must record uh, the same amount for account debited 10,000 and account credited 10,000 and you look at uh, uh, the second transaction you can see that the double entry system incurred where bank should be debited 2000 and bank loan credited with the amount the same amount 2000 15 of december vehicles debit with the amount 2500 and cash credit 2500 why cash credit because it will reduce the amount of cash when you refer to the accounting equation the cash credit because the amount of cash decrease 17 of december debit drawing 200 and credit cash 200 25th, debit cash 1200 and credit service revenue 1200 and the last one debit utilities expenses 300 and cash credit so you can see that this is the double entry system now you are required to open t accounts based on double entry system so we can see the first december i put the red color here one for cash debit side and one for capital credit side that is the same color red color why red color because it is beautiful so you can see this is the format of t account where the debit side is the left hand side and the credit side is the right hand side so you must write the date items and amount for debit side and you must write date item and amount for the credit side so the first transaction the name of the account is cash debit so you write down cash account debit with the amount 10,000 and its partner is capital and another account should be credit is capital so you look at the capital 
the amount is the same, 10,000, the date 1st of December and its partner is cash. So this is double entry system, one account debited and one account credited. 5th of December, debit bank 2,000 and credit bank loan 2,000. So you can record here, debit bank 2000 and credit bank loan 2000. Okay, the third transaction, debit vehicle 2500 and credit cash. So you can count. You can find out, you can open the vehicles here. I have opened the account. Vehicle, the amount is 2500 and its partner is cash. So, debit vehicles and credit cash. 15th of December, its partner vehicle and the amount is 2500 and the next transaction 17 December debit drawings 200 credit cash 200 so you can see here a cash account credit 200 and the drawing debit 17 of December its partner cash and the amount 200 Okay, the next transaction, perform service, debit cash, 1,200 and credit service revenue, 1,200. So you can look at the cash, 1,200, this brown color, 1,200 and another account service revenue. Okay, we have to open the service revenue. Alright, service revenue account. Credit, why? Because it will increase our owner's equity, 1,200. The next transaction, utilities, expenses, debit, 300, and cash, credit, 300. So, in the cash account, you just write down utilities expenses 300. And for utilities expenses, you have to open utilities expenses debit side 300 and its partner cash. Now, how many accounts involved for those transactions? Okay, you can calculate here. Cash. Capital, bank, bank loan, vehicles, drawings, sales revenues, utilities, expenses. So they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 accounts. So there are 8 accounts involved in that transactions. So you can see that. Cash account, this is cash account, all the transaction that involve cash account, you must open only one account, cash account. What should you do? Now we have to close the cash account. First step, you must calculate which one is the bigger amount. So the bigger amount is 11, uh, the debit side, the amount is 11,200. So you must put the same amount and the same amount in the credit side. Okay, first step, you must calculate the total for debit and credit and you can see that the debit is bigger than 
the credit amount. So, after that, the second step, you have to find out the difference between debit and credit. So, what should you do? You have to calculate 11,200. Okay, you calculate now. I take my calculator first. 11,200. You less 2,500 and less 200 less 300 and you will get 8,200 so you can check again how do you get this amount this is the difference between 11,000 and all the amount from the credit side. So, you can get 8,200. This represents for balance carry forward. And this amount, you must carry forward to the next month. So, that one we call balance, balance brought forward. The amounts are 8,200. So, can you check now whether you get uh, this total are the same with 11,200? So, you can calculate. So, I want to calculate 2,500 plus 200 plus 300 plus 8,200. Yes, you get this total. So, this is the step how to close the account and you can do so for all the account for capital bank bank loan vehicles drawings sales revenue and utilities expenses you have to do the same method where you have to calculate the debit and credit you take the bigger amount the second step you have to calculate the difference amount and the third one, you must write down balance CF carry forward to the next month, balance PF. That's all for today. Thank you.